Welcome back to the finish line and a very special video. We are joined by none other than two-time Grand National winning jockey, Gold Cup winning jockey, former champion jockey, but to name a few of his achievements over his career. Davey Russell, thanks very much for joining us. How are you? Uh, very good. You're all well. Ah, hanging in. Not too Sorry, bad. Lock lockdown is taking this toll. Too much, too much Guinness. Ah, uh, yeah. Loads of iron. Your iron levels will be up, so... Oh, yeah, so well, that's true. Way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, have you, how have you been keeping yourself busy during lockdown, Davey? Ah, uh, sure, we're, we're very busy there with um, have a lot of brood mares and things. So, um, uh, getting them back and fold, falling mares and getting them back and fold. So, and you know, tipping around the farm, trying to do bits and pieces, you know. Kids keeping you busy as well. <laughs> very, yeah, they're a, they're, they're a handful. So, um, uh, but my wife is very good now and, uh, uh, the lads, the older two, come away with me in the morning and uh, we spend the day together. So we're getting loads of quality time in. Yeah. You looking forward to getting back? Hi, uh, yeah. It's great. I can't wait until um, until we go on. Uh, Gardens has horses, you know, ready to rock and roll. So, you know, we're going to be very busy. Um, so hopefully we, I'm going to start getting back in shape, you know. Tom? Yeah, we'll jump over to me. <laughs> um, so Jump Racing's back on the 22nd of June at Limerick. Maybe. How how have you been keeping your fitness? That's going to be nearly three months, say, from Eltham. Like, have you done much work to keep your fitness up? No, very little. I've been very doing very little, to be honest. I've taken the break and uh, I'll be starting back though, uh, this week coming is going to be my start back and uh, hopefully I can get back into swinging things. But no... But to be honest, I, I haven't I haven't gotten unfit. I've been very busy since we stopped, but uh to be honest I haven't worried about it. That's plain and simple, there's no saying it any other way. Um I took it as a break and uh badly needed one. So, you know, I, I lo a couple of niggly injuries there um uh, at me for a while. So, you know, I feel much better now and I feel for the few the few weeks off, you know. Would you would you find getting back in the swing of things would would you need, like, say, a week or so back proper race riding to get your eye back in? Or would riding out alone at Gardens be enough to get you back going? Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, you have to... Oh, sorry, I'll have to... One second now. No, um, sorry about that. Um, no, uh, I'll have to be ready to rock and roll the first day. There's no point in Garden won't accept any excuses that way, so... Uh, no, there won't be any. Uh, there won't be any marriage. There won't be any. Uh, uh, Straight back into the fire. Will, will, you, will you be following a kind of set plan to get yourself back fit, then, Davy, or or will you just kind of go what you usually have done over the years? Uh, no, no, I'll just keep going as what I what has served me best uh, up until now. Uh, look, I have been. I have. I know, I know what it's like to come back from a break anyway, because with injuries and things, and you know. Um, uh, at least this time I won't be coming back trying, you know, with something to hold me back, I'll be able to go at it full tilt. So it's basically riding out, garden lay working horses, I'll be riding working. You'll get into the swing of things fairly fast, you know. So talking of Gordon, yourself and Gordon had an opportunity this year to break history with Tiger Old. Like, how disappointed were you not to get a stab at three in a row? Yeah, but sure, I suppose, look, I, I try not to get too worked up about anything beforehand anyway. There's no point because you're only letting yourself down for a bigger fall. So yeah. I did. I, I hadn't got into it. You know, we were concentrating on Cheltenham. Um, so, and you know, entry was pretty much called pretty early, you know. So, uh, but I hadn't got into the, 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 the wind-up of it, to be honest. It hadn't really entered my mind. There was too much going on with Cheltenham and things. So, um, look... I, I I just don't like getting putting yourself up too high because yeah. the, the the fall is too is too much of a fall and you, you end up trying to recover from the disappointment more so than anything else you know so I'll be honest with you I hadn't got into it so uh, to say I'm disappointed yes I wanted to go to entry and try and create history but I hadn't worn myself up to to for anything like that happening and we all know the Grand National is so difficult um, and it has so many. Um, uh, there's so many things in your way before you can go and even get around the course. So um, it's it's very in, in the way I work things is 
I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't try and worry about history or anything like that. I, I'd enjoy it afterwards more so than beforehand, you know. Can Can you describe that feeling when you actually cross the line when you won your first one? Which will do the two kind of weigh up as the same kind of expectation as the last one? Uh well, you know, you see, as I said, we'll say like. I don't know what way to put it. Um, kind of outer body experience. Yeah, but it, 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 was, it wasn't like that I had... It's not like you're going into a hurling match and there's two teams or a football match or whatever kind of match it is and there's two teams. No, there's going to be one winner and one loser. You know, you're going into Grand National with 40 other com- competitors, so there's going yeah. to be one winner and nine losers. So um, um, you don't prepare yourself really to win if you know what I mean not the yeah. same way you would match like or, or, or you're going out with more hope than expectation yeah yeah especially in the Grand National and then when you kind of realise and the first year then I didn't know I'd won it until they had called it out over the intercom it was that close yeah. so to describe that feeling <laughs> I've, I've never I've never taken drugs or anything like it but people talk about these highs and that you get from drugs, but I can guarantee it was none of them would equate to what I felt when the result was called. Um, it was, it was something I, 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 I never really experienced before. It was, it was something else. It was just literally my whole career nearly ran through my mind, uh, all the lows and all the broken bones and all I, I turned into a, I, 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 the only way I can put it is I, I probably turned into a, probably a 10 or an 11 year old boy for about five or eight seconds 10 seconds it's like it's like i went back to when i was dreamt about winning grand yeah. national and made, that's the only made, way i can made everything worthwhile. it made everything worthwhile and you'd go back and you'd break all the bones again and i'm just one of the lucky ones as lads go through their careers and have the same hardship as i had with only half the 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 you know, so I'm just one of the lucky ones that has got to that point. You know, but it, it was like it, it was like it was like being a, a child for 15 seconds. Five-year-old's career, Davy. Like he looked top class as a four-year-old winning winning uh, a Cheltenham, and then he kind of he went he was out in the wilderness for a while. But then he's he's had all these Cheltenham victories. How would you compare him? to the likes of the top class horses you've ridden, like Solwit, Lord Windermere, Presenting Percy. Um. Yeah, um, I suppose every horse has its individuality, um, but you, you should never judge a book by its cover, basically. Like, to look at Tiger Rowan in his juvenile career, he was very good. He, he didn't ride like a, a champion hurdler. He, he rode like that. He had more stamina than speed. And... Um, but you would never have envisioned him going jumping fences because of his height and uh, his technique, basically. Um, and uh, so, you know, to say that I, I, I felt he was he, he had a lot of ability, um, but where it would have brought him, I wasn't quite sure. But then again, you see, I, I only rode him in a triumph hurdle and he wasn't really mine after that because uh, Brian Cooper was the retained rider at the time. So... It wasn't like that. I was anticipating him coming back or anything for me to ride him. I was never. I wasn't going to ride him again, uh, you know, at the time. And then when the opportunity did come back to ride him, um, um, I, I, I didn't think he'd win a Grand National. I didn't think he would. Um, he would be the horse to get to to for me to break my my duck in a Grand National. He he just. I I just didn't think it would suit him. But that'll tell you about horse racing. There's no rules. Like he, um, he's small. He he he's low to the ground, and even when he gallops, he gallops low to the ground. And he doesn't. We'll say, we'll say to to describe his jumping. He just he measures everything to a minimum. Mm. You know, even so that he'd take the top off of fences rather than 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 go over them. So um, I thought the fences would take its toll on him. But he's so bright. He's shocking clever and intelligent. And He's so good on his feet that um, he he was able to uh, adapt very very quickly mm. to the jumps. And I knew after 
once we got to the back of Breacher's Brook, I was happy enough that we were going to have some sort some sort of an involvement in the race and then his well being after that or you know, would have to dictate that, you know. So roll on next year. Hopefully he comes back in one piece for next year. Yeah, well he, he does enjoy the big day. He he really he becomes a better heart. The bigger the crowd, the bigger the occasion. He seems to um enjoy that um more so. Yeah. I remember he's, you uh, saying one day. He's uh, he's an amazing specimen. Like you said, uh, his height and the way he jumps the fences. I'd be the first to say I didn't think he could win the Grand National either. I, I watched it up at Andrew's house the first year, and we couldn't believe that he was uh, he was basically hurdling some of them fences up uh, up an entry. And uh, then to do it a second time, he's uh, he's an amazing specimen for a small little horse. He must have some uh, some heart. Yeah, he's got a huge amount of ability. He's shocking brave, uh, fierce brave now, and um, uh, just an awful lot of ability. Like as in, he's just he's just got an awful lot of ability. Um, he he he's technique actually it it actually looks worse than it than it feels on his back because um and and he rides a bigger horse than he than he actually physically is because he's got a massive big stride on him. And uh, so, you know, again, same thing, judging a book by his cover is not the right way to go about things because when you get on his back and, and ride him, he, he, at home, he, he, doesn't, he, he has more scope on the race course than he has at home. At home, he just potters away and he does his own thing. And, you know, he's a quiet rider and the regular people ride him at home because he's, he's easy to ride, you know. Um, but when he gets to a race course, he changes completely. Some horses do, a lot of horses do, some horses don't, but uh, the better horses, I feel, uh, just nearly grow a hand or an inch when they get to the race course than what they show at home. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Speaking of potential superstars, you had to strike up a lovely relationship with Cleveland Park, Cle- Park over the last few years. Um, you have great ammunition to go to war with next year. You have like the Bally Adam, you have Malone Road, hopefully if he gets back. And then you, who I think is the best horse in training, Envoy Allen. Can you, can you put into words, at this stage of his career right now, how can you compare him to any horse you've ridden before in terms of just pure raw ability? Uh, well, not so much any horse before, because, you know, like I've ridden some very, very good horses at different stages of the career, but um, we'll say... I haven't had ridden a horse that was so superior to the, the to the horses around him at the time. So the novices of this year, you know, he's 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 pretty much there. There, there doesn't I, I I can't bear we're missing one or, or, there, or there, that one went missing during the year. But uh, he just seems to be better than the mall of his age. Now that doesn't mean that when he steps up to senior company that that you know he he'll have to keep improving. So. Um, you know, the beauty of him, he has the size and scope. He has the size and scope to improve. Yeah. Um, he's a big, raw horse, you know, and you'd imagine he has jumped fences. Uh, so um, this shouldn't be an issue if they, they uh, uh, decide to go down that route. Um, and then he can go back hurdling because he's quite nimble at his hurdles, you know. Yeah, just, just touch back on the Ballymore. And you're saying that... For the size of a horse, the size of the horse he is, his he's technique over hurling is nearly flawless. And the confidence you showed on him in the Ballymore to give like the, uh, the two in front such a, a break on you, and you just the second you went from in the blink of an eye, in the turn of a camera, he was up, he was up their arse straight away. Like that must go to show how much you think of him. Yeah, I've huge mass in the horse, but you see, my fear in Cheltenham was that if I I had to go chasing them down the hill. It was his first time over that trip. Yeah. Um, just We've lost Amy. <laughs> well, I'm having connectivity issues. Oh, no. We might, we'll hold up. We'll be back in a second, that's it. I can edit this part out anyway. 
it'll, uh, it'll probably ask you to let them back in again. I'd say. Yeah, I'm looking at the participant thing move up here. It's going well so far. You jump in about our dabbers after this. I can't even say it. Yeah, I will. Abracadabras. <laughs> you never answered me. Can, you ask, well, can I ask at some point as well what he's going to do after his career is finished? Yeah, you pop, pop away with that. You don't go back in the... Come oh, back in there, you. Soon, there you say right now. Yeah, you do that time if you want. Okay. Lad, sorry about that. Oh, he's back. All right, Dave. All right. I'm sorry that I, 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 there was a call. I called Kimmy and I'm sorry. I, I... Don't worry. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you were talking about by Alan. Yeah, I just, you see, if I had to set him alight at the top of the hill, you know, it would, uh, and it didn't work out, I, I'd been very disappointed, you know what I mean? So I was happy enough just to sit and wait, you know. He seems like the kind of horse you can actually ride anywhere because in his bumper career, he was more or less ridden from the front the whole time. So he's very versatile in regards to that. Yeah, with the same over hurdles, we've done everything with him. He's made running. Uh, he got a leader mid run in the Royal Bond. Um, we the same in in Nace. He, he was fin set second or third, and then in Cheltenham we dropped him in a little bit. Mm. Uh, so yeah, he's he doesn't it doesn't really matter where you ride him. Another one from Cheltenham Derby that actually really caught my eye. He didn't win the race, but I thought everything well not everything, but certainly start went wrong from his uh, abracadabras. He seemed to the stand and start didn't suit him, and he seemed to lose a few lengths. And I thought he did very well to run the race he did from there. Yeah, um, I suppose it's one race. Look, I, I don't think I done a whole lot wrong. It's just the race fell wrong for him as such. Uh, as you said, yeah. the standing start wasn't ideal. Uh, but then he jumped very well. He travelled really well. And then again, I was waiting. I, 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 I. I loads of horses at the second last. I had no interest in being where, where I was uh, at the back of the second last. And, you know, again, like, I suppose the only thing, if I kicked on, but I've got a, a first run on, on the other horse, or I, I, I don't think I would have. Um, I, 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 I didn't want to be in front that early, you know what I mean? Um, when uh, Willie's horse uh, 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 fell, brought down um, Mark Walsh, I, I was uh, hoping that they would take me into the race an awful lot longer than... than what happened? You know, I ended up in front way too soon. Uh, nothing that anybody could do, could have done, and whether I should have just kicked on turning in, but I don't think that would have suited them either. You know what I mean? So uh, we just, I think the winner is a fair horse now. I think the winner is a fair horse, and I was just a bit unlucky now, maybe. Mm. Do you think? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I think. Go on, Tom. No, I think uh, I think the two of them. I like the two of them. I think they're both very very good horses. Um, and as I say with your lad, I think the race just went wrong for him. I don't think there was much you could have done about any of it. But do you, he's been well touted now for a champion hurdle campaign by a few people. Do you think that's the route he would go and that's what he could make up into? Oh, yeah, definitely. Again, you know, I'm sure the lads would sit down and they, they won't even think about that now at the moment until wait till he comes back in sound and, you know, get back going and... You know, you know, Jig and Sound and Garden, he'll, he'll get entries and everything, you know, I'd imagine. And then there's a, a lot of tests during the year that he'd have to, have to pass. But, you know, there's no reason why he couldn't go down that route. Uh, he, he's a very quick horse. Um, he's got, shows an awful lot of pace. He's very quick to jump. Um, um, yeah, there'd be no reason why he couldn't go down that route. And then again, he's big enough and, and angular enough to go jump in the fence. So there's that option too, you know what I mean? So... Ah, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Um, I I wouldn't say anybody has made up that decision yet. You know, people have probably have their opinion on it. But mm. as regards my opinion, it, it wouldn't. I wouldn't be one way or the other if they if if they said they were going staying over hurdles or if they were going over fences. I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Or wouldn't bother me. As long as you get, you'd be happy <laughs> in any race. 
Yeah. How did uh, how did it ride uh, that supreme, Davy? Like uh, I I echo the thoughts yourself and, and Tom. I think they're they're two fair horses. I, I think Abercadab is a very speedy horse, and like you said, you're the the way things worked out probably didn't work out for you the best. But um, Shishkin looks a decent horse. Abercadab looks a decent horse. I think Captain Guinness looks a decent horse. He was tra- traveling lovely until he got brought down as well. So did it ride a good race that particular supreme? Yeah, rode a, rode a good race. It was a bit tricky because the horse in front was going mad right and there wasn't a real true gallop. It was a little bit stop start. So it's hard to know. But I'd say they're not a bad bunch of horses. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not a bad bunch of horses. Yeah. yeah. Speaking, speaking just, of a bunch of horses. win from where he did. You know, I thought he made a couple of mistakes and he got badly hampered as the second last as well. And, you know, I'd say the win was a fairish horse now. Right, just touched on a, um, a bunch of horses. Just go to the Albert Bartlow the Friday. We've we've a WhatsApp group with a few of our followers, and there's been this big argument that some of us think the top four are going to be extremely good. Some are think they're absolute, for the lack of a better word, yaks. Um, did it right? I think the first four are going to be very good when they see a fence, especially Monkfish, Fury Road, and um, uh, latest exhibition. To you. Do you think that's a, a nice bunch of novices going forward and staying division? Yeah, I do. Uh, def, uh, what was the fourth horse? Um, Pine Hill. Pine Hill, Phillips Hall. Yeah, I was sure that probably the proof to put in is there. Like, uh, where did he finish in the bumper last year? He finished third. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we'll say, like, you know, it, it's, it's hard to know. Um, but all the all the all the novice hurdlers equate to their form, if you know what I mean. Like Time Hill wasn't good enough to uh, to uh, beat him by Allen in the bumper last year, and uh, you know he still ran his race in Cheltenham, and the other three were better than him. I think you know I I, I would say that's that's solid solid form. Uh, my horse is an extremely talented horse. Uh, I just don't know as he fully furnished yet um, but you ride him at home he could run over any distance yeah. uh, uh, I would say he's going to improve plenty for a fence and then you look at Monkfish and you'd say hurdles are getting in his way that yeah. he's going to improve fence and then uh, final uh, Paul Nolan's horse again uh, you know an ace bumper winner you know a solid form all the way uh, the 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 running uh, what did it be oh um um Andy Dufresne do you know it's 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 ah it's solid now I I I probably I definitely say they're they're not they're not bad and anyway. yeah, how I, good I don't know but I would say they all seem to have the physique uh to get better. Mm. Uh, but I'd say this Cheltenham was probably the softest ground that we got for a long time in Cheltenham. So times don't won't ever equate to anything. That to me was a a lovely race to ride in, as in we went a really good, nice, even gallop the whole way, quickened up well, and I just kind of got outstayed. I'd say I thought I was doing everything right, to be honest, and, and I thought it landed at the back of the last to win it, and the other two, you know may have stayed a little bit better, but I, I just don't think my horse is fully furnished yet. Yeah, I really I, I, like Fury Road as well. I, as you said, I think the making of him is when he will see a fence. Will that be the plan for him next season? Oh, again, he, he, he he's a very talented horse now. He shows an awful lot at home and, you know, um, um, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he shows everything that looks like he's going to go that way. But again, you know, you just don't know them options will be left open and, Come back in and decide all them things next year. I wouldn't be there'd be no there'd be no there'd be no plan with him uh, yet. I know for sure. Um, Ray, Ray, welcome. Uh, a little one for you now. If if there's a, is there a one that sticks out in your head over your career that if you could have it back, you would. What's that? Sorry. If you could, if is is there one race in your career that if you could find it again that you would. But you do it a bit differently. Is there one that sticks out? Uh, every one that I lost. <laughs> 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 I have to write a 
playing with him. Uh, um, I suppose I, I, I'd love another go. I did it to work uh, last year, um, um, but there's any amount of no, any amount of them. Uh, uh, but it doesn't really, well, I can't really leave that worrying me. But dealt to work, I probably, but there was reasons for me to do what I'd done. He wasn't jumping well enough and I had to be very aggressive with him down to his fences and I ended up being too forward on him. Do you know what I mean? And 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 I, I, I should have been following the two boys down the hill and, and had to go at him after the last. Do you know what I mean? Um, do you um, think this jumper will ever cost him a gold cup? I, I suppose he'll, he'll get better. He's clever enough horse now. He's 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 getting better. He's getting better. His jumping around Leperson was was flawless. So you know, um, I think he missed was it the first or second fence, and I think that put him on the back foot. And you know, you cannot do that in a Gold Cup. I don't care. You have to be very very good. I don't think I ever saw a Gold Cup winner make a mistake in the first half of the race and 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 and, and win. Do you know what I mean? You know, um, you, you need to be very, very talented to do that. And uh, it just happened to him early. And I'd say Mark was put in. I, I don't know. Just yeah. looking at it, he was very early. And that's hard. That's hard when you're in the Gold Cup, you know. Speaking of Gold Cup, horses, we can't have you on without asking you. It's, it's, it's no secret to our viewers that Tom's favourite horse is, is presenting Percy. And his heart has been broke last two seasons. Is there any way you can make him cheer up a bit and tell him that he might have a chance of winning the Gold Cup next year. Uh, sure, we'd love to, we'd love to, we'd love to, but he's a very, very good horse again. And, you know, he just never really got the run of it. Uh, really, like, you know, I... Oh, he's better than what he's shown, in a way. Do you know what I mean? He's like definitely if, better than what... If you can he, he, he wasn't going to be far away in the Gold Cup this year, no. He definitely wasn't going to be far away. But what are you, I, you know, to say he'd... He would have fought out the finish, we'd say. Like, if you equate his RSA win and then you look at the horses behind him, like, Album Photo was a fair way behind him before he fell. So, the world could have been nice, or only for maybe niggling injuries and so on. He's a fair, fair talented horse, just hasn't got the rub of the green, really. Yeah, that's it. He just needs to get a better run at this season, you know. But he's getting there now. He got a good bit of uh, experience in last year, and hopefully that'll that'll stand to him, you know. And and he 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 wasn't bottom out, bottomed out, do you know what I mean? So yeah. hopefully, that'll stand to him. We won't we won't uh, we won't get you retired just yet now, Davy, because you've got to win that gold cup for me on presenting Percy. But. Uh, um, Go down the training line. Is it more the breeding operation you're looking at? I know more, more so prepping horses, young horses, and and breeding horses, and then preparing younger horses is more so what I'd be um uh, more into. Um, I love the idea of training, and 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 I'd love to be going out to see horses every day, galloping and things like that. But ah, uh, look, I I'm just too old to start training. We'll say and start back at zero again you know and work your way back up and to be honest if I went training unless I was going to be in the top in the top three or four in the country you know and to do that is 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 is, is a long long hard route and I kind of established there with broodmares and breeding and and things like that I wouldn't bother me if I had to go train a couple of point of pointers uh, that were left over or something like that 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 wouldn't bother me but no, to say if I was going to go training, I'd have to go at it gung ho, and uh, you know between facilities and everything like that. I just, I just not sure um, I could face into that. Right, just before we let you go, Davy, um, one horse that you are really, really looking forward to get to getting your leg back over next season. Oh, sure, there's any amount of them. Uh, I'm just in a privileged position, but sure to name one like. You know, Gordon had a bunch of bumper horses this year, and 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 any one of them could 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 you know be very good. He, he he's he's bought a couple of very nice horses from point to points and things like that. Uh, so I uh, just to name one would be wrong. Um, but just once I can keep Gordon happy and 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 things like that, you know, Jack and myself will be sharing plenty in keys. There's plenty of jockeys up there, but Try I'm just happy to get my, happy. get my pardon. Trying to keep Michael O'Leary happy. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that's not too bad. That's easy enough. Uh, just keep riding winners from. He's happy enough. And uh, 
and uh, no, it's just look, just really looking forward to 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 filling my my place in the team, you know. Yeah, Davy, once again, really appreciate your t- taking out your time to chat for us today, and best luck for the season ahead. Yeah, thanks very much, lads. Thanks a million. Cheers, Dave. Appreciate it.